Yeshua. When we call you, you will answer. Yeshua. And we know you, you dearly. There's no name, no name greater than yours. There's no name, no name greater than yours. Aliko Falatina Hash. Yes, you are. When we call you, you will answer. Yes, you are. When we call you, you deliver. There's no name, no name greater than yours. Shalosti. There's no name, no name greater than yours. Yeah. There's no name, no name greater than yours. Ay, 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 ay. There's no name, no name greater than yours. One more time, yes, you are. You are. When we call you, you will answer. Yes, you are. When we call you, you deliver. There's no name, no name. There's no name greater than yours. There's no name, there's no name, no name greater than yours. Your name is the most high God. Name, no name, greater than yours. The greatest gift of God to man is that he gave man himself. That is why the greatest miracle of all time is the miracle of salvation. Say, for we are no longer strangers. We are no longer slaves. We are no longer servants. But we are now sons of the living God. But we are now joint heirs with Christ Jesus. We joint heirs. We are joint signatories to the accounts of heaven. And there is nothing that happened on earth without a man on earth sanctioning it. And it is men that have understand the power and the authority God has vested on them that makes things happen. That commands things. I have made a decree and I have decided that nothing happens around me that I do not sanction. Nothing. It was so bad. My dad was so sick. Almost with countless times, he went into coma. But I said, you will not die. And he didn't die. The day I knelt down in church on Wednesday night, I said, Lord, if you can't heal him, take him. It's okay. It's, I'm okay. I've had enough. It's okay. Let him come home. Let him come home. By Thursday morning, I was called and said he has gone home. Because there is nothing that happens around the child of God. And God doesn't reveal. He said, how will I not tell my friend Abraham this thing I want to do? How will I not tell? The reason why you don't know the heart of God is because you are far from God. The prodigal son was still a son, but yet he was in a far land. And as he remains there, there is nothing his father does that he knows. There is nothing the sons of his father, even the servants of his father were living a better life than him that was a son. And that is the situation of many people, many children of God. We are on earth, heavenly citizens. 
here to run heaven agenda but we are on earth running our agenda running earthly agenda everything we do we can do everything run everything a student can stay awake all night reading to pass an exam but to stay one hour and pray is an iniquity it's an evil it's an evil to trek to church you don't know, how many times have you gone to school without transport fare no, no, no. there are some people their fathers are big men so okay thank god for you but how many percentage of people you that is looking at me now how many times have you made sacrifices concerning the things you love because the equation the sacrifice is directly proportional to love you can't love without making sacrifices you can't love and when you love god the first thing god does is to reveal his mind to you the grace of god has appeared to all men but it's not all men that is enjoying it it's not all men god doesn't waste resources he doesn't throw himself where he's not needed it's on here what i'm saying he doesn't throw himself where he's not needed and uh, from last sunday we started looking on the subject grace carriers that it is possible to carry grace and yet not manifest grace it's possible to carry grace and yet not manifest grace it's possible to be a son and yet be living like one that is it is less than a servant because the servants of the father we are living a better life living in a good house while the son of the father is living with pigs and swines even with pigs and swines bible said what an irony what an abomination what an evil that princes are walking on foot and servants on horses servants on horses that is why you now you now lose your sonship because you are looking at servants that are walking on horses riding on horses the sons of this world they are using the principles of your father they are serving and as long as you are serving the father will protect you the master will protect you the master will provide for you the master will clothe you the master will house you the source of this world understands this thing but the source of the kingdom they, they lack understanding china is using the principles of god europe is using the principles of god many of them we are built on the foundation of the gospel many of them in prayers now they are no longer some of them it's not all because you just okay, think it's everybody so everybody in europe is, uh, is evil some of the largest churches is not even in Nigeria. So I hear what I'm saying. So don't be, don't be, don't be a fool. Don't allow the devil deceive you. You are a son. And for you to enjoy the benefits of sonship, you must understand the principles of the kingdom. That is not our discourse. But you are a carrier of grace. Paul said i am what i am by the grace of god but yet i labored more than they all a man that is in honor psalm 49 verse 20 and understanding not is like the beast that perish why because he doesn't even understand what is on him he doesn't understand what is in him he doesn't understand he doesn't understand who he is for him he doesn't understand where he is from he doesn't understand so a whole lot of things go wrong in their life and the bible said in song of solomon 2 verse 15 he said take off the foxes the electro foxes foxes that spoil the vines for our vines have tender grapes the grace you carry is tender the grace you carry is like an egg you need to carry it with every ounce of of carefulness with every ounce of of amen so we said that some of the foxes that destroy the grace men carry is the fox of indifference the fox of indifference you know concern me you know concern me one of the things that even destroys something is you know concern me even though he was actively he was he was fighting the philistines for fun are you understand what i'm saying he, he was having fun 
with the gift he had instead of raising an army am i talking to somebody he said he will save israel from the hands of these people instead of raising an army building them training them equipping them and rising to the occasion since he one himself only him can fight and kill 1000 people and when they now come out in their numbers israel will be free and go oh, no, he was having fun he will just go he said i want to marry this person he said i bring this one you can kill people gather things and bring he said, these people set of people will come against him he will not go and kill he said, he said 1000 people will not come he now carry job on and just stand and just be having fun he was he was flexing was flexing just like a lot of us are flexing with the gift of god you don't know that oh you man whatever you are giving you will make give account is all hearing what i'm saying there is a day of accountability that whatsoever is given to you you must account for it bible said and the one with the one talent even one talent you will account for it if it is just that you know how to walk you will account for that knowing how to walk are you hearing what I'm saying? Have that you're knowing how to walk led many people astray? Or have, has it led people to church? Has it led people to serve God? What has your gifting benefit the kingdom? In what way has your giftedness benefit the kingdom? Because you are accountable to God. You are accountable to God. Indifference. He was having fun until his phone killed him. On the woman that he was having fun with was the one that took his head. Don't be indifferent. Anything you see, observe, God has called you to change it. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I came into this place, I discovered that young boys are lazy. I started a program to that effect. I became very passionate to teach young men to work with their hands. No, I'm not, I'm not go about begging and... and, and, and Looking for women that will take care of them. Looking for women that will take care of them. Whatever you observe, whatever infuriates you, whatever touches you, angers you, you have been anointed to change it. You have been anointed. There is an anointing on your head. And you must understand it. And if you are indifferent, it's just a matter of time, you will be out of the way. Every one of us have a limitation called time. Is someone hearing what I'm saying? So stop playing, I don't care, I don't care. Because time will soon catch up with you. A, an old woman at 80 something was asked, he said, what is your greatest regret? He said, my greatest regret is that there are things I wanted to do now that I didn't do then. I wish I can have time reverse back so I can do them. I wish I served God better. I wish I did this, I wish I did this. I don't want to wake up tomorrow and I say, I, I wish I did that. I wish I did that. I wish I did this. That is why whatever God tells me to do, I, I implore all the arsenals within my jurisdiction to make sure it comes to pass. Make sure. Because I don't want to wish that I did it. Somebody say God forbid. The fox called indifference tarnishes the graces of men. Tarnishes the graces of men. You are there, you are sitting, time is going, but you know concern you. Now things are bad. You are sitting at home complaining. There's no money. We sitting at home and complain. We really bring money. We really bring money. There are people that have become richer. Go and get a POS and start a POS stand. Is someone hearing what I'm saying? They are the millionaires of this period. Go and get a POS. Clean up your POS if you had one. Went to get money yesterday. They told us one thousand naira, four hundred naira. You pay four hundred naira to get one thousand. I said, so 20,000 naira, 8,000 naira. So, I want to get 20,000. I'll give you 28,000. I was almost inspired to start a POS business. I said, God has not called me to wickedness. But some of you that have the anointing, they started. The fox of indolence, having an inclination of laziness. Many people are lazy. Lazy to do anything. You see, one of the greatest things that processes, you know, ideas is activity. You have to be in activity mode. You make mistakes and you learn. Failure is the fastest route to success. 
Is all hearing what I'm saying? Failing is the fastest route to success. Because if you don't fail, you don't know what you are not good at. Then you cannot know what you need to be good at. Am I talking to somebody? Don't be afraid to fail. If you fail now, they will laugh at you once. But if you don't fail now, they will laugh at you for a lifetime. Your son will wake up one day and ask you, Daddy, where were you when Dangote was building five factories? Where were you? They may even tell you when other people were doing Yahoo. What, what, what happened? Why would have done Yahoo? <laughs> Indolence. Somebody say, I shall not be lazy. And we said, number three, the fox called ignorance. Ignorance. And we said, ignorance is one of the greatest undoing of many people. What you don't know is bigger than you. What you don't know can kill you. They used to say, what you don't know will not know you. But what you don't know will kill you. It's all here what I'm saying. What you don't know knows you. And when he finds you, it will kill you. It's all here what I'm saying. Uh, you see something in a bottle. You don't know it's tetraoxos of a cis. You say you are tasty. Uh, am I talking to someone? You say you are tasty. And by the blood, you now carry it and drink. We will meet to part no more. Amen. So ignorance is so expensive that you cannot, you cannot, you cannot meddle with ignorance. You cannot meddle with ignorance. If you are young, give yourself to much learning. Give yourself to much learning. Give yourself to much learning. Don't be lazy to study. Don't be lazy to study. In fact, as a matter of fact, everything you have now, you should carry it and go for learning. Every money that enters you, if you are below 30, even us that are more than 30, we are still learning. So you have to, Bible said, get by knowledge, by knowledge. And he said, the wonderful thing is that I love the scriptures. He said, with all thy gettings, by the time you are finished getting money, you go and hustle. They send you money. It's not for flexing. Some of you should know it's Shaoma till December. Royal sports, the Lord will provide. I am telling you. Because the number of shawamas you have eaten can, can, can pay for a course. Can pay for a course. Can pay for a course. Learn something. Learn something. Learn something. If you are below 30 here, you don't have any business with enjoyment. Enjoy what? You don't have any business. Maybe one or two times you give yourself a treat. Amen. I'm not saying you should suffer for the Lord. But don't be more enjoyment minded than investment minded. Don't be. And one of the greatest investments is not to buy a land, it's to invest in yourself. I love a young man that is just sitting beside me. He's running, I don't know whether it's three or four courses. At the same time, I asked, How are you doing it? I said, But that's beautiful. By the time I was coming out from school, I was coming out with seven certificates. One I paid the cost was $200, the other one $400. As a student, that the parents never paid the school fees for one day. For one day. Ignorance is too expensive. It's too expensive. The thing is that when you are studying and investing in yourself, you will come out. The person that is not doing anything will come out. Both of you will look the same. So you feel deceived. In fact, the person may even look more touched. Because he is eating his tomorrow and you are investing in your tomorrow. Because there is nothing called tomorrow. Tomorrow is what you create. Tomorrow is what you create. When you come before tomorrow, tomorrow they will be calling you big names. OON, CNN, BBC, and all of that titles. When you were doing those investments, they were eating their own. They were eating their own. Then big boys flexing. Now, what's going on here? There's nothing going on. The fox of ignorance, he can eat up your days and make you have a pseudo feeling of enjoyment and a wonderful future to come. But there is nothing waiting for you in the future. Nothing. 
my bishop told me so many years ago he said every investment in yourself every knowledge you invest in yourself is create is already creating for itself a platform where you will express it he told me that so i don't joke with knowledge i don't joke with learning don't joke with every knowledge you acquire is already creating a platform where you will express it you will express it praise god and we said the fourth one which is where we are starting for today is the fox of inconsistency the fox of inconsistency great ideas have died because men cannot endure great ideas i heard the story of facebook that when he started he went he carried his legs and went to bill gates house and begged him to invest in facebook and Bill Gates refused it refused went to many people to invest they all refused he was borrowing money from the bank to pay the workers and sustain the company sustain the company after some years down the line Bill Gates now went to him it was Bill Gates but, 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 who is that Bill Gates that time there was no Elon Musk Bill Gates was the richest man in the world nobody knew Elon Musk at that time at that time, Facebook became richer than Elon Musk. There was no Elon Musk. Bill Gates knocked on his door. Bo, 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 bo. What is it? I want to invest. I want to buy 1% share in Facebook. And bought 1% share, $1.3 billion. Somebody say, hmm. Why? He continued. Continued. Despite all odds. Despite all odds. Some of his friends left the idea and said, what is this? What is this? People are chatting. Even Big told him, which one is there? People chat and chat. But what, what will be? Okay, so as people are chatting, what is? You now try, you say hi. You now say hello. You now say, how are you? Have you eaten today? So is that what we are doing here? He said, nah. We'll see, to, we'll see tomorrow. Even Facebook himself did not know that this thing will reach like this. He said he was just creating it so that people... In a, what's the name of that school now? Eh? In the university, what's the name? Harvard. So that people within Harvard can connect with each other. That was how he was. As he did it, they were connecting. It was growing. It was becoming bigger. It was becoming bigger. Now, check on Play Store. Five billion downloads. Like, five billion people on earth have Facebook on their phone. 5 billion downloads. 5 billion downloads. The fox of inconsistency. Start this one today. You jump out. Before you start. You greet this person too. Tomorrow he makes you angry. He says, I cannot, I cannot deal with this. I cannot deal with this. You jump out. You now jump into another one. This one now will not, he will not, he will not bring it. He say, all men are the same. All men are the same. He finally say, all men has come. Men has come. Tomorrow you come to, for pastor to pray for you. I will pray for you. And God will answer. Is someone hearing what I'm saying? Yes, you can't remain one place. You can't remain one place. It's, it's not only the ladies, even you guys. Hey, the guys. I don't know. If, if it's not God, if Satan wants to punish you, he will give you a woman. If Satan wants to punish you, he will give you a woman. You will die before your, you will die before your last born. So the husband cheated, did not say anything. She he came back home. He said, Baby, how are you? How are you? He did not show anything. The guy did not know that anything is happening. They welcome him. Say, baby, how are you doing? Have you eaten? Say, no, baby, bring I'm so hungry. So I cooked your favorite. Say, wow, my wife is wonderful today. Presented the food. He ate. He said, Baby, let me massage you. He said, oh, my wife. Who is like you? He said, Nobody's like me. You see today. <laughs> Massaged him, massaged him. He slept. He said, Baby, are you sleeping? Say, He has slept. She went to the kitchen, collected knife, cut off his manhood. True life story. And videoed it. He was videoing it and carried it and cooked it so that when he wakes up, he will eat it. 
the video is still on the internet welcomed him nicely the husband did not suspect anything welcomed him killed him and videoed it so that he will eat it he said that wants to punish you keep keep destroying babes keep keep doing all manner of things so when you when you are ready to marry hey you will just go to church you pray for 21 days and, and you will find a damsel you will find a damsel You found a damsel. So you need to find a lady and consistently walk and build her up to your taste. And they are jumping from, from, from pillar to post. So don't think it only affects guy, ladies. No. There are some guys that, that now, the reason why they are normal is that they don't know who to marry. They have dated one, they have dated human beings. So, there is something Nkechi has that Ella doesn't have. So, Ella now has something that Joy doesn't have. So, he, he, he just wants all of those things that he likes in all of them, all of them to just come in one and have it. And you will, you will see, it's, it's in heaven that you will find it. It's in heaven. Now, listen to me. One of the greatest things that helps a man succeed in his cause is trust and trust is won over time are you hearing what i'm saying trust is won over time no matter what is happening people believe that big big milk is the best in the market why they have won the trust of people over time I, am i communicating coca-cola has won the heart of people over time that's why now there are a lot of fakes I have not seen a fake Pepsi. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Have you seen? I've not seen a fake Pepsi. There is big cola. There is cola flana. There is a lot of colas. Everything is just trying to say we are related to Coca-Cola. Everything is trying to tell you we are friends and families of Coca-Cola. But I've not seen a, a fake Pepsi. I've not seen. The taste of Pepsi is one and the same everywhere. But Coca-Cola, you have different tastes. But when you get the original, you say, eh, eh, this, is, this is it. Trust is one over time. Over time. Over time. Over time. So stop complaining people. Don't, you don't trust me. You don't trust me. Don't, don't, don't cry in that. Just continue. They will trust you. Keep at it. They will trust you. They will trust you. So you don't do something one year, two years, and, uh, and uh, people, people are still questioning your credibility. And you are there complaining and saying, hey, you don't believe in me. And when I arrive, I will show you. If you, you carry that mindset, you will not arrive. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You need to understand the principles. Consistency. Consistency. So you don't terminate your own visions and grace by your own self and think that you are not graced. But the fullness of the manifestation of your grace is fully manifested when you consistently continue. 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 In your assignment. Most of these people, big names that you hear, they are not rewarded because of their talent. They are rewarded for their consistency. Is someone hearing what I'm saying? A pastor has been in ministry for 30 years and is rewarded. A private jet is given to him and you are angry. Come and be for two years. Come and be a pastor for two years. You will see. You will know. You will understand. By the many things you will suffer, you will learn obedience. When somebody can bow before you today and tell tomorrow, tell you, shake a waka banga, what can you do? If you do nonsense, I'll show you give it to you and you're shocked he said I'm, is my anointing expire I was carrying oil yesterday I felt it is did my anointing leave me you, you go back to the place of prayer I say Lord what's happening it's like my anointing has left me God intervene but these are the marks that I bear upon my body bear upon my body GDJ said a young man came on to you and says I like your grace 
Say, sir, pray for me. He brought his seed. He said, sir, pray for me so that I can carry your anointing. The way you dissect the word of God, the numbers of people that follow you, the people you've raised. He said, knee down. He said, may they break your heart. May you raise people and they leave you. May this happen. May your daughter get pregnant at 13 years. He said, that, 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 it's okay, sorry. Sorry, I don't want grace again. I don't want. I don't want grace again. A preacher of righteousness, his daughter got pregnant at 13 years and yet he came to church on Sunday and she preached holiness. So you must be holy. That the situations of life cannot change the gospel. That you don't know how many times I don't have money in my pocket but I still come and tell you that God is faithful. God is faithful. God has never failed, but it looks as if he's failing me. It looks as if he's failing me. It looks as if everything is falling apart. You woke up one day and lost your livelihood. And you see, come on Sunday and preach. But I must continue, for I have found a course that I must follow. Whether I am dying or I'm living. I'm dying or I'm living. It is lack of consistency that makes men to to so much gauge their destiny. What gauge? Jumping from pillar to post. Pillar to post. You don't know how many times I've preached to you, not having any cover. You don't know. But it's not written on my face. You don't know. Some prefers, some people are professors in hope raising. When you come to God to use you as Simon, God will have to change you, will take you through a process to change you from Simon to Peter. So because Simon is a maverick, Simon the lack at this, lack at that, lack at this, lack at that. Look at this. Look at that. You don't know your stand. You don't know who you are. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Today I love you, Lord. Tomorrow, before you made, you say, I don't know this one. No. I will slap you now. I don't know him. Don't know him. Today you just cut off somebody's ear. Tomorrow, before you start, you are denying Jesus. Deny Jesus. Say, Simon, you are a maverick. When he came, he said, Upon this rock, I will have to build the church on the rock, not a maverick. The things I need to do in your life, you need to be stable. You need to be consistent. You need to know how to flow with the truth. That when Peter was confronted with death, he said, ah, they were about to kill him on the cross. He said, no, no, wait, wait, wait. Ah, no, ah, ah, it's an insult. You can't kill me the way you killed my master. He said, turn me upside down. Make my death more horrible than my master's own. That's a man that has become consistent like a rock. And nothing shakes him. What is shakes him? Small, small, there is no cover in time. You know how long we've been living without cash. And we've been surviving. So there's no there's no cash in town. Yeah. This is the first place. First time. Amen. So be like a rock. God is taking you through the process to transform you from being a maverick like Simon to being a rock like Peter. And in this journey, no matter what happens to you, when you excuse yourself, you accuse yourself. No matter what happens, no matter what happens. I'm, I'm not a student of the school of thought that says when God is calling a man, he makes everything he's doing to fail. If you cannot succeed in things, in business, in life, you can't succeed in ministry. God has never called failures. Never. 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 So you must learn how to succeed in everything and anything you lay your hands to do. You must learn how to succeed. Jalivaka. Proverbs 14, I mean 24 verse 21. Proverbs 24 verse 21. 
my son, fear thou the Lord and the king. Fear thou the Lord and the king. That's not my emphasis. We'll leave it for generous company. He said, and meddle not with them that are given to change. The change of APC. You will know the difference. You will see the difference. You have seen the difference. Who has not seen the difference? If you are here, you have not seen the difference. You have seen the difference of change. He said, my son, fear thou the Lord and the king, and meddle not with them that are given to change. People that are not consistent. If you are not careful, they will infect you with their virus. Their virus. You think it's about God. You think it's about fellowship. You think it is about, uh, okay, I'm consistent in other things. I, I'm, it's just this one now that I'm not consistent in. In that thing, the day of your promotion, of your promotion, that inconsistent attitude will make you not to come. Is someone hearing what I'm saying? The day you'll be promoted in that one, you think you are consistent. If there is inconsistency in you, it is that day to show up. Stop coming late. Stop coming late. Stop coming late. Stop coming late. You will not hear. He said, it's because of, it's because of, it's because of. The day there will be a viable contract that will change your life forever. You might even finish dressing. Tea will pour on your clothes. You will go late. And by the time you arrive, it is over. Because it is a spirit. It's a spirit. Don't you see that those that come late always come late? Even when they say, I'll wake up today and come early. Somehow, somehow, they will still arrive late. That's why when we warn you, we warn you to your own advantage. Not because we want you to come to church earlier. What, what are you doing for me if you come early? I come early, I worship God, I observe every, every aspect of the service blesses your life. But it's about you. It's not about God. It's about you. Somebody say, I will not be inconsistent. When grace is available, you are rhythmical. I told some of us, I said, motivation is good, but discipline is better. When you see a man that is motivated, the moment the motivation comes, you say, nah, this week, I am going to Bulaba. Then next week, he will turn home. Then the other one, he will be different. But a man of discipline is always found doing what he said he will do. Found doing. And every day you do what you have promised yourself to do, you are a day closer to your dreams you are drawing closer you are drawing closer you are bringing yourself closer to the things God has called you and blessed you with 1 Corinthians 15 verse 58 yes you are when we call you you will answer yeah 15 58 when we call you daily, there's no name, no name greater than yours. Ay, 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 ay. There's no name, no name greater than yours. He said, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast unmovable always not sometimes not when it's convenient not when naira is plenty am i talking to somebody not when naira is plenty naira is scarce we are planning to buy our seats and young men i'm telling you if you know the investment some people are making here towards that project it's mind-blowing mind-blowing he said always abounding you see it is not abounding in works he said abounding in the work of the lord for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the lord so you might be laboring but if it's not in the lord it might be in vain it might be in vain so he said be unmovable be steadfast 
be consistent always abounding in the work of the Lord always abounding he said because assuredly your work and labor is not in vain the first law of promotion is availability the first law of promotion is availability so what does he mean in your place of assignment be available you are working in a company be available you are in the church be available you are a leader be available be always found doing be always found doing God does not find you in your house he finds you in your a place of assignment that's why he, because if he wants to promote you he won't promote your house am I talking to somebody he will promote you in your place of assignment and one thing I learned is that impact drives income my bishop told me that impact drives income lastly for this morning very quickly I want to give you this one before we go is the fox of insincerity the fox of insincerity you cannot change with a closed face you can never change with a closed face when you are always hiding when you are always hiding you know some people especially introverts the reason why they don't talk is not because it's not all of them though but some of them the reason why they don't talk is so that they will not expose their ignorance it's not hearing what i'm saying they just keep quiet so you think oh wow you just stay cool and calculated you think ah this girl is smart you see the way she's sitting you you, you think she's a, a bunch of wisdom is now when she talk and tell you find me one english now <laughs> when are you coming you will understand you will understand now quietness does not mean wisdom quietness doesn't mean wisdom you cannot be changed when you have a closed face you always covering, covering yourself covering yourself that's why the the makeup industry is blossoming very well blossoming with rapid speed no matter the the money that no day ladies must get makeup they must many of them thank god i'm not seeing you guys are naturally beautiful Except for one person <laughs> who likes makeup. Amen. You should make up, but don't always hide your face. When you are always hiding, there is something that is that is not right. There's something that is not right. You know why people don't ask questions in class? So that they will not know that they don't know. So everybody keeps going. Any question? No, sir. Now, one smart, intelligent guy in the class will not ask the question. He says, oh, 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 by the time the lecturer is answering, all of them are writing. They are all writing. Do you understand? Yes. Do you understand? Yes. But they don't understand anything. Be sincere to yourself so that you can grow. It's all here what I'm saying. Be sincere to yourself. People don't ask questions because they are not sincere. If I ask now, they will know that I don't know. They will know that I am this one. They will know that that one. They will know that. Let them know. But by the time you ask your question, you get clear that you become better. When you are insincere, you always use more of your memory than your imagination. Somebody is in a relationship. They are always lying. They are always insincere. They are always trying to remember what they said yesterday. You use more of your memory than your imagination always trying to remember because when you lie you need another lie to cancel the lie that you lied so that the other lie will not lie around they will not see it priest later you put it the, the, the priest amen the reason why people cover up they lie a lot they lie a lot they lie a lot and because you are not sincere you always try to remember what you said yes you always try because you are not sincere i'm an open book every almost everything that happens in my life i say it here so there's nothing you want to hear outside there's nothing to talk outside are you hearing what i'm saying that's how every every child of god should be you should not have a secret life you should not have your reputation and your character 
your reputation and your character should be the same. Even though people are allowed to say anything they want to say about you. But deep down in their hearts, they know. Everyone lying against you is just lying to accuse you. But they know. They know. Even when they have other thoughts about you, but let your character be consistent with your personality. Let it always be consistent. Don't have true faith. Don't be a true faced human being. And also, you must know that in this ministry work, do your work with sincerity. Do your work. Do your work with sincerity. So please, in your work with God, be sincere. Be sincere. If people say you are doing this one, you are doing this one, you are doing this one, be sincere. Be sincere. Be sincere. Your sincerity is your security. Because at the end of the day, when they now say, okay, let us verify. Since the history of Nigeria, we have not seen any politician that came out and said, go and verify. I have not seen. They can't say it. They can't say it. If they will find one thing, they will not find it. so many kind of lies to cover it up, to cover it up. You say, you know, what he said is not actually this. You know, it has not been verified in the court of law. You know, and all of that. Talking rubbish. Talking rubbish. When communication is not straight, there is an attempt to deceive. What happened to the money? You know, I gave it to her. But she now said that she will give it to her. By the time we now came to give it to her, she has given it to her. <laughs> so where is her? Her has gone to where her house is. <laughs> how did it happen? We, we don't know how her house now left where it was built to where they... The house now is now inside the town hall. Jumping up and down. Please be sincere. Be sincere. Your sincerity is your security. Your sincerity is your security. Let your, let your Bible say, let your conversation be yea and amen. Yea or nay. It's either is yea or nay. Yea or nay. If somebody asks you something, can you do this for me? If you can't do it, say no. If you can do it, say yes. Don't say, okay, but give me this time tomorrow. By the special, you know, you know, grace of God is small. They have to add the, by the special grace of God. And they know that it's, that it's, as the conversation finishes, it's over. Now, by the special grace of God, by the intervention of the Almighty, they see the finger of God writing on the walls of Jericho. <laughs> Be sincere, friends. Be sincere. Your sincerity is your security. Now watch this very quickly. Watch this. When you have a right heart and have wrong acts, it's, you are called a suspect. When you have a right heart, but you are doing wrong things, he says, Sir, that's not what is in my heart. We are not seeing what is in your heart. We are seeing what you are doing. So you are a suspect until you are proven otherwise. So, and you see, this is the state where so many believers are. So I didn't mean it like that. I did not mean it like that. Right heart, wrong act, is suspect. The other one is wrong heart, right act, a hypocrite. Is someone hearing what I'm saying? Wrong heart, right act, hypocrite. Now, since the history of over eight years, the governor of Kogi State, we have not heard anything about the wife. Are you following me? We have not heard where she has been involved in any philanthropic anything. Just recently, they say that she was uh, whatever involved in one fraud, whatever, about three billion or so. And now the money was cash. So the Buhari now say no more one thousand, no more five hundred. She gathered all her staff and was now giving them one million naira each. Say, I want to bless you. You know, you people have served me for a long time. And now our government is ended. I just want to bless your life. You know, just want to bless you. As after February 10th, after that, Naira is now useless. Now he, she now wants to bless them. Say, now I love you. I've, I've watched you people. You have served me faithfully. Right heart, wrong heart. 
she didn't do it since it's as the naira expired she now wants to give them one million naira each both the house cleaner and everybody she was giving them one million each of the old notes hypocrites there are so many people that came here to use me and by the time they used me they left they left because they are so proposed to come here it's not to be pastored there's one that you know that I know but I won't say they just come to use you and when they have used you you see in the process of using you they will be good they will call you sir you call them once they answer you twice once have I heard twice do I answer answer it twice as long as they have not achieved their goal they will remain loyal hypocrites don't be that kind of person because they have their own reward have their own reward is someone hearing what I'm saying am I talking to somebody they have their own reward don't be a hypocrite don't be a hypocrite the third set of people is wrong hearts wrong hearts this set of people their minds is evil and their acts are evil Nobody can control them. Nobody will tell them what they are. They show you to your face that they are angry. Everything. The leader is taking the other one. They will bring their sub. Some of them are leaders. They will bring their sub. You know, you know, sometimes pastor don't understand these things. Am I talking to somebody? There are certain things we need to make pastor understand. You know, while I was praying last night, God speaks to them. Are you hearing what I'm saying? They are working in the company. They will gather people and say, no, our guy is very useless. Just look at him. Look, take a proper look at him. He's a very useless man. But you know, what can we do? We just have to continue and see how things go. A rebel. A rebel. And Satan is your father. Satan is your father. With all that God gave, Satan would have no relevance apart from God. Satan wouldn't even exist if there was no God. Some people, small relevance, small authority, small power you give them. They, they trample you on their feet. Rebels. These are the set of people that Bible says, when you see them, when authority frowns at them, frown at them too. Frown at them too. Frown at them. Because even the Bible says, mark them and avoid them. Those that cause this, that cause this unity in the body of Christ. And the first set of people, which is where you should be, is right heart, right act. These are the true sons. The right heart, right act. They are always sincere about what they are doing. When they don't know, they ask questions. They, 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 their sole desire is to do the will of their father. To make their father proud. That's their desire. Nothing else, nothing more. To serve God wholeheartedly. These are the right set of people. The biggest attack of the enemy against you is subtlety. He will use a lot of things to deceive you. But please, whatever you do, remain and, you know, take the position of a right heart. If your heart is right, your hands will always be doing the right things. If your heart is right, you always find yourself. Even if your heart is right and you make mistakes, you will not frown at correction. It was because your heart was wrong. That's why you are frowning at correction. Are you hearing what I'm saying? If your heart is right, if your heart is not wicked, so why are you, you say, oh, we are here trying, killing ourselves for this, and they are here still shouting at us. Still shouting at us. If I not do now, what will happen? What will happen? You're a useless person. If you don't do it, another person will do it. Before you started doing it, somebody was doing it. Is someone hearing what I'm saying? I'm here to teach you as your pastor, so you have understanding. There is nobody in the kingdom that is not replaceable. Listen to me. John the Baptist was beheaded. And nothing happened. I hear what I'm saying. John the Baptist. The Bible said Jesus himself said, Before John till now, there is no man born of a woman, including Moses, that is greater than John. John did not part the Red Sea. John did not raise any dead person. John did not heal any sick person. Not one. No, no one miracle recorded in the ministry of John. He was just preaching the coming of Jesus and baptizing people. That was all. Jesus said there is no one from the beginning of times till now that is greater than John. 
Do you know what made him great? Because he preached Christ. He carried the gospel of the kingdom. That's what made him great. But John the Baptist died and nothing happened. Like Jesus continued preaching and they buried him and it was over. So touch yourself. Touch yourself. Say, stop fooling yourself. Say myself. Stop fooling yourself. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Just be coming down. Just be coming down. So with that said and done, just be coming up. <laughs>